Hi guys, it's Mark Zickley of Space Command, also known as Mr. Sci-Fi, and uh, I'm here today to talk about young adult fiction, also known as juveniles in my day, or, or kid books, and uh, I just saw The Giver, which is an adaptation of the novel, and uh, I've also, of course, seen Hunger Games and Divergent and Harry Potter, and, uh, and so in terms of The Giver, I won't. I, I don't want to give any spoilers, but just let's say the ending is a Deus Ex Machina, and uh, as every every bit as much as uh, the original Logan's Run film was. And uh, but it has some, a lot of things to offer. I mean, basically, it's odd to me that that uh, you know young adult novels have fallen into this strange dystopic formula where a plucky teenager uh, in a in a extremely totalitarian future, uh, but but very well coiffed usually. Um, uh, overturns the society, and 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 Logan's Run might be the progenitor of that in a strange certain way. Uh, Logan's Run was co-written the book by uh, George Clayton Johnson and William F. Nolan. George was just coming off of Twilight Zone and the original Star Trek, and they had a very interesting idea because back then someone might earn three thousand dollars to write a science fiction novel, and B Bill Nolan said to George, "Listen, let's write this book." and sell it to a mainstream publisher, not a science fiction publisher, and position it so it sells for $100,000 to the movies. And that's exactly what they did. And it sold to MGM, and it became a very successful film uh, starring Michael York, and then a TV series, etc. And um, I thought that was a very good lesson in terms of just setting a very high goal and, and getting it, winning it. And the original Logan's Run novel is very different from the movie. Very interesting, very strange, and very 1960s, but, but well worth reading. But, um, but in terms of, of young adult fiction, I want to talk about that because uh, if, whether you're a fan of those, those films or not, uh, and I, I, I actually am, I, I, I really um, enjoy them generally. Uh, when I was growing up, uh, these books were called Juveniles, and they were aimed at kids. And my favorite book when I was seven was Farmer in the Sky by Robert A. Heinlein. And, you know, for me, looking back, you know, Heinlein's adult novels, he's got some very strange political views, and I, I have a hard time with some of his, his adult books, but I still love the juveniles. He wrote a number of them through the late 40s and early uh, 50s, and fi well, throughout the 50s, into the 60s. And uh, the first one was uh, Rocket Ship Galileo, but, uh, but there's a number of them that are quite wonderful and, and very, very fun. Uh, I highly recommend this book. Uh, have Spacesuit Will Travel. It's got a great cover by Ed M. Schwiller, who's, uh, some of whose designs we're using in Space Command. Just, I love this book. And also Citizen of the Galaxy, another great Heinlein uh, uh, juvenile. Uh, there, many of them are, are very fun. In, in Have Spacesuit space Will Travel, uh, the main character wants to go to the moon. He's a teenager, and he enters a jingle contest, a television jingle contest uh, for a soap, for a brand of soap. And he, he doesn't win first prize, but he wins a running runner-up prize, which is a used spacesuit, which he renovates and he ends up going on this uh, adventure that takes him to the moon and the outer planets and ultimately uh, to other, uh, another galaxy. It's, it's a great shaggy dog story, very, very fun, very charmingly written. Uh, Citizen of the Galaxy, again, is another uh, big galactic story, but, but wonderful characters, wonderful invention. And Heinlein uh, was writing a number of these while he was also writing his adult books. And but two of his juveniles, toward the end as we were moving to the 60s, two of the juveniles ended up um, not being acceptable to the to the the juvenile publisher, the editor. But uh, so he retooled them as adult books. So one was Podcane of Mars, and the other was Starship Troopers, which won the Hugo for best novel of that year, and uh, and was made into a very interesting film. And it's very funny that Paul Verhoeven uh, saw the right wing leanings of Heinlein and went to the extreme satirically of making it into essentially a Nazi science fiction movie, which is uh, very interesting. It's actually a movie I, I, I quite like. But, uh, but you know, um, Heinlein's Juveniles, most of them are available as audiobooks. You can go to Audible or, uh, or you can buy them in, uh, you know, on eBay or, or via Amazon. But they're, they're, they're worth checking out. I really, really like them, really enjoy them. And, in fact, the reader of Citizen of the Galaxy, I was so taken with his uh, style that I actually reached out to him and he, uh, he was the reader on the, uh, the third Magic Time novel. So, so that's sort of, you know, it's funny that, that, that uh, coming off Harry Potter, which was fantasy and not dystopic, it was basically sort of a coming-of-age story. All of these juveniles, by the way, one way or another, are coming-of-age stories, whether it's Heinlein or Hunger Games. They're basically about someone finding their voice, finding their self, rising to their, their destiny and their best self, which is fine, and that's the story of our own lives, ultimately, of course. So, um, but if you've been reading the, 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 the recent crop, I suggest checking out Heinlein. Uh, I think you'll, you'll, you'll find them quite entertaining. 
And, uh, and so, so that's basically it for now. Uh, thanks for watching the Mr. Sci-Fi channel. Uh, if you, uh, if you want to comment on, on perhaps your favorite science fiction book that you read when you were a kid, or, or what you think of the current crop of, uh, of young adult novels, please do. And subscribe, comment, share, all that stuff. It's, it's really appreciated. And we'll talk to you again real soon. And again, this is Mark Zickery, Mr. Sci-Fi, and, uh, and we'll see what I have to say next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>